In the mid-1900s, Church Street was at the commercial heart of Nashville. Downtown was also at the forefront of the civil rights movement of the 1960s, led by Methodist pastor, the Reverend James Lawson. But historians say McKendry stayed out of the conflict. So to think about that whole period from 1950 to 1970 and the cultural upheaval of the time, Right outside the door of McKendry, just down the street, were the lunch counters where students from Fisk and TSU did sit-ins. And as we know, those sit-ins were led as part of a initiative of nonviolence, which was taught by Reverend James Lawson. The people of McKendry, as far as I'm able to tell, kept the doors closed and did engage with that part of society. Despite this apparent decision not to engage, there is a connection to McKendry, a seed planted a century earlier by the women of McKendry that would help Reverend Lawson on his journey as a civil rights leader. And James Lawson, to teach those principles of nonviolence, he had to learn them from somewhere. And he learned them direct from Gandhi. And part of the reason he got to go to India and study with Gandhi is because United Methodist women had influence to send him there. So United Methodist women at the time were called the Women's Society of Christian Service. This is before we became a United Methodist Church. And the Women's Society of Christian Service and the Women's Missionary Society helped fund James Lawson's trip to India and the time that he spent in India. Um, and then it was Martin Luther King who encouraged him to come to Nashville and lead a nonviolent movement. Reverend Lawson hosted workshops on nonviolence at his church, Clark Memorial. Lawson mentored student leaders of the lunch counter movement, including Diane Nash, who went on to organize the Freedom Riders, who desegregated interstate travel, and John Lewis, who was among the key organizers of the 1963 March on Washington. Almost a hundred years before, D.C. Kelly was the pastor of McKendry. His mother, Lavinia, formed a mission society for the Methodist Episcopal Church South. The influence of Methodist women, which goes all the way back to McKendry, to those five ladies who met in the sanctuary with Lavinia Kelly and to her son, D.C. Kelly, who said, go ahead and start your society. That society led to money for nonviolent training, which led to training for John Lewis and Diane Nash, who marched right in front of McKendry. And at the time that they did that, people weren't aware of that historical connection. But there was a morsel of interest in social justice that was watered and nurtured at that time that ultimately became a huge part of the mission of McKendry um, after the civil rights eras.